You know the nicest way to wake up? <laughs> I'm just waking up. Shut up. The nicest way to wake up is uh, is how I woke up this morning with just a boatload of Jaffe, you're a f***ing moron comments uh, about my Last of Us Part 2 playthrough last night. So thank you for that if you're uh, some of the people. People be like, why don't you go back to bed, Jaffe? It's Saturday. Well, because this is on my mind. Listen, just listen to me. I mean, look, it's like, uh, is Jaffe a hater? Uh, it was kind of embarrassing and unenjoyable seeing a person hate a game without playing it. To just play the game complaining about it. What I don't understand you made is multiple times clear you don't like these kind of games. Why even bother and complain every minute? LOL, four hours of complaining. Maybe if you got past the first few hours in these AAA games, you would stop calling them movies, on and on and on. I'm fascinated by these comments, honestly, because a lot of people were asking me ad nauseum, not as much as God of War, which I ended up loving. Never thought I didn't go in with a preconceived notion. I expected it to be great. I guess that's preconceived because I had heard it was great, but I loved the God of War, the God of War. I loved the last God of War. It's fucking amazing. And I went in similarly with this. People were like, Jeff, you have to play it. It's great, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, I'll play it. Uh, it's not my kind of game. I don't really like games like that, um, but I'll give it a shot. Okay, so if you watch the playthrough, I was raving about the graphics. I was raving about the production. I, I was like, I don't know why people hate Abby. I think she's very cool. I said, I love the world building, not just the graphics, but this kind of Western meets modern aesthetic. I liked how they did it in this game even more than the first game. With the exception of a couple of moments, I said the performances were great. I was not shitting on this game. Whether I played it for an hour and a half or three hours, depending on if you include chat time. I played it and and where did I stop playing the game? I stopped playing the game in the grocery store where I asked the chat, I said, look, is this game this much stealth? And people were like, yeah, it's tons of stealth. I don't like stealth. And I was just like, up until that point, I would have kept playing it. The production was great. And without the production, my moment to moment gameplay was fine. I was, you know, and, and, and I wasn't like, obsessed with the story i thought the story was kind of like there was no big inciting incident yet whether it's an hour and a half in or three hours in i wasn't like you know with god of war there was that forward momentum within 10 minutes of like oh this is what this is about go deliver the ashes shit who's balder what's that about you know there was intrigue and there were seeds being planted by the writing to make you go oh fuck what is going to happen in this thing this call it slow burn call it whatever you want to but Storytelling wise, it was really hoping for patience on the part of the player. After an hour and a half to three hours, if you haven't engaged me with your story, if that's what really this game is about, then yeah, I mean, I'm sorry you think that's on me. I think that's on the game. An hour, you know, people telling me it's like you were 20 minutes away from the game getting good. The game getting good, motherfucker. Let's let's take this. Let's split the difference. I played for two hours. I gotta wait for the game to get good. Two hours. And it good. The game's great. I'm not shitting on the game. It's just I, I don't like stealth. It's too slow for me. The funny thing is, though, here's why I'm really making this video. I went out of my way. Not that it was, like, hard to do. It's a, it's it's a, it's an easy thing to appreciate this game. It's it's just incredible. It's an incredible achievement. But I did, I because I knew people would be sensitive about it. I didn't know they'd be this sensitive about it. But I continually made it clear that, you know, it's not you, it's me. This is just not my kind of thing. I don't like stealth. And there are some things that don't work for me that work for you and that's great i raved uh, a couple weeks ago about uh fast and furious crossroads now i you know for, i took the piss out of reviewers a little bit because i'm like oh they're just a bunch of people who really don't want to have any fucking fun but you're not going to catch me arguing with you about if if you really come to a game and you demand great graphics and you demand great control and you demand a level of polish and production quality in your games which i respect i'm not like that but i respect that yeah i get why you would think fast and the furious is one of the worst games out last year why would i argue with i mean it's like it's there's nothing to debate right if i tell you i don't like stealth and there's a lot of stealth in the game i mean we can argue about it but i don't know what to do with that you know it's annoying i guess it's annoying to have those criticisms like I'm shitting on a game when I'm clearly not shitting on this great game. It's just not for me. There's one other thing people were complaining about. It's, oh, Jaffe, the way you play the game, you're talking to the chat or you're pausing the game. Yes, it's called gabbing in games, fellas. That's what this is. That's what my channel is. It's about discussing gameplay, okay? So if there are parts in the game that I 
am interested in and I want to stop and talk to people about, that's what I do. It's not like I haven't enjoyed games for the last three years playing that way. I played Shishima that way. I played God of War that way. Yeah, I missed some things, but I was still not so absent from the game part of the game experience to go, I love this fucking thing. I get that that may not be for you, then just don't watch the streams. But I love game design, and if I'm having an experience and I want to stop and discuss it and debate it and be curious about it and ask questions, that's how I'm choosing to do it. This idea that I'm not playing your precious game just right. You're, you're paying too much attention to the chat. You come in without this mindset. It's like, shoot me the fucking prerequisites to play The Last of Us. I wasn't aware there was like a checklist of like five things I need to do before I am in the right headspace to sit down and enjoy what clearly is the most orgasmic game ever made to you. So I'm just being a bit of a dick because you guys, some of you guys are being a bit of a dick to me. It's like, you know, give me a little fucking credit. I'm not, I'm not some hater on this shit. I said a lot of the stuff I liked. I, I really do genuinely love that you like this. The only reason I probably even push back on that is that I do think these kinds of games, uh, get way more accolades than they deserve in a way that's harmful. The writing of the game, it's not good game writing, but it's pretty good writing. And that's a, a, a level of nuance and distinction about how we tell stories in the interactive medium that I find fascinating. I think from a game writing standpoint, Call of Duty Cold War Black Ops was a better written game in 2020 than The Last of Us Part Two. I don't mean though, that the characters were better. I don't mean that even the plot was better. I'm talking about the way it wrote for the interactive medium, at least from what I experienced in three hours or an hour and a half or two hours of Last of Us, was much more engaging and interesting and, and on point for the medium than The Last of Us was, Call of Duty. I like talking about those things. I like wondering about those things. So, you know, again, I mean, if, if that's not what you like, I totally respect that, but... This is probably not the stream for you, at least not when I'm playing games, but hopefully I'll see you on other things. But anyway, I just, I wanted to respond. This is rambling, but hopefully you could pull some nuggets out of it. That sounds so gross. I'm going back to bed. I hope you guys have a great, safe weekend. I'm sure I'll be doing some stuff uh, on the stream this weekend, but I woke up and I was scrolling through and I'm like, holy shit, I got to say something. And now I have, and now I'm going to go back to bed. Good night. Good morning. Whatever. Bye.